There's times when, um, and this, ha this happened a few months back, what Kirk was talking about being on TV, and I, Stacey, I, you might know what I'm talking about here, but there, it gets to a point in your life when you, you've experienced that scared of being on TV so many times that it starts to kind of calm down and you begin to not be so afraid. Because boy, when, when you're on TV, you, whatever you say, it's a done deal. <laughs> and then it's recorded, and then it gets put on your website, and it's seen for the rest of your life. And there's no changing it. So if you do something stupid, it's there forever. It's, got, it's great, you know? <laughs> but what happens is it does get to a point where it does calm down and your nerves kind of just get to be, you know, not so crazy. I knew the day when that was happening for me because another choice I was having to make was freaking me more out than the TV spot. <laughs> so we were on the way to the TV station, and I remember talking to Kirk, and we were having to make this really, really, really large financial decision. And I was freaking out, like freaking out nervous about this other situation that we were in. I wasn't even thinking about TV. And I went, oh my goodness, this is new. I've never experienced this before. Wow. So do something that scares you and then follow that up with things that scare, keep scaring you and amazing things will happen in your life. <laughs> right? <laughs> Just don't stop doing things that scare you. Okay? Cool? Well, I just, I want you to know, it's a pleasure to be here with you today. It's a pleasure to be here with fellow trainers, fellow people that want to make a move, that want to share their hearts and their souls. I know you're in this room because you have something inside your heart and your soul, and you want to share it with other people, right? You wouldn't be here if you didn't have that. You wouldn't be here if you didn't have like a huge heart that you wanted to like just transform the world with it, right? So thank you for being here with me. Let's give yourselves a big round of applause for that. Yeah. And I do want you to know that there are times in these moments, moving forward as a trainer, they're gonna scare you to death. Like being on TV. It's gonna scare you to death. You might have a radio show. It's gonna scare you to death. You might have somebody in the audience that asks you a question or says something that is really not very nice. It happens. And you just get up and do it again. I'll share with you. Um, one t we used to do a question jar. <laughs> The reason why I thought of this is because earlier the questions was, uh, the lady that asked the question, she said, Kirk, you don't believe in God. I, I, that was, you know, the same exact timing of that event, I believe, right around that timing. I'm not sure if it was that event or a different event. We thought it would be a good idea to do a question jar so people could write their questions down and we could read them and we could answer their questions. Guess what happens when you do a question jar? <laughs> You get things that you never wanted to hear. <laughs> like that same time period, somebody actually put in the question jar, Kirk is, and I'm not even going to say the word because I don't want to give credit where credit, you know, I don't want to give credit to that person down there, but Kirk is that person. What? Like seriously? I'm thinking, where are these people coming from? What planet are they on? Do they not understand? Because I know you all, you wouldn't be here if you didn't love Kirk, right? <laughs> you wouldn't be here if you didn't love what he taught and you, uh, and you understand his heart and why he's doing what he does, right? You wouldn't be here if you didn't feel that way. So where these people come from, I don't know. But I'm telling you that so that when it happens to you, you can say, oh, that happened to Kirk. If he can do it, I can do it. Okay? So if he can be called like the devil then when it happens to you, you can go, you know what? I know somebody who's real successful and amazing person that ca got called that too. And so if it's happened to him and it's now happening to me, hmm, there's nothing wrong with me. Is that cool? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. 